from generation to generation, the squirks got smaller and smaller. And so Maxmatic Squirkator became a much more reasonable size. The Squirkator's first job, remember, was to store the names and telephone numbers of the thousand Matics in its memory, a sort of computerized telephone directory. You already know how letters and numbers were entered in the Squirkator's memory. You need an encoder. But obviously, you couldn't read the information inside directly. First of all, because the squirk bytes had become tiny. And even if you could have seen them, you would have seen just zeros and ones, which wouldn't mean a lot. So to read what was in the memory, the procedure was just the opposite. A decoder was needed to change the groups of zeros and ones into a form that could be read by the average matic. Suppose, for example, that cinematic wanted to call mathematic. Naturally, he's forgotten the number. So he asks the Squirkator. But do you think that the Squirkator is going to answer him just like that? Of course not. Because the Squirkator, like any self-respecting computer, is completely stupid and can't do anything by itself. To get it to work, you have to tell it what you want it to do, step by step, giving it very precise instructions. These instructions are called a program. This is where a part of the Squirkator, which so far we haven't said much about, comes in. The Central Processing Unit, or CPU. It's the CPU that reads and executes each instruction in the program, and this is how it does it. Step one, go into the memory and get the first name on the list. Step two, compare this name to the name it's looking for. Step three, are they the same? No. Then go back to instruction one and, step one, go into the memory and get the second name on the list. Step two, compare. Step three, the same? No. Etc. 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 Until the two names are the same. Then go to step four. Take the telephone number and display it at the output. Cinematic is happy. He's got the number he wanted right in front of his eyes. But by the time he gets home... He's already forgotten it. Nope, thinks Maxmatic. It still needs a little work. <laughs>